Well, there we go. Hello, and welcome to this episode of Seropi Shelf. I'm your host, Seropi, and today we're going to be starting Pokemon Blue version. Yeah, Pokemon Blue version. So, Blue version is uh, a, the first game that I personally had um, that wasn't... Yeah. The first game that I personally had that wasn't something that somebody else also had at the same time. My sister gave this to me. She started this file when I was born. She was very excited to have a sibling, which, you know, some siblings aren't so excited, but she was very excited, so she named the starter after me. But we're gonna get right into it. I'm gonna name the starter. Well, let's uh, just skip through the, the intro. Uh, we all know what's happening. There's Pokemon. I'm gonna name the starter after her, but only her. <laughs> I don't, you know, I'm not trying to like doctor anything. So we're going to we're we're gonna name it after her nickname. But we'll get there in a little bit. First, we have to name ourselves. So there we go. I there is lowercase. That's funny. All right, I'm just gonna stay all uppercase because why not? Not the Pokemon. Why not? And look at that. It fits perfectly in here. So that's me. Hello. Who's my rival going to be? Oh. Oops. So instead of <laughs> Why don't we, uh, yeah, we're just gonna, why is it red? Interesting that it's red. Huh. We're just going to call the rival green. Just because, because that's the one, uh, the one version that we're missing here. So there we go, that's green. Even though green was female. Hmm. Now I'm starting to think maybe I should redo that, but whatever. It's already done. We're here. I probably should have called it red. I probably should have called it blue, to be honest, because that's that's blue. But here we go. We start off, I think, yeah, I got a potion in there. Nothing. Nothing. Oh my god, the music. Wow. Wow, this is nostalgic. The SNES? I never had an SNES. I like that that's the thing. I'm pretty sure in later generations it's a GameCube. Which is beautiful. I'll always leave home Sunday. It said so on TV. Professor Oak is looking for you. You know, I am 10. I'm a 10 year old boy. What are you, what are you doing letting me go out with nothing? Literal nothing. They're out at Grandpa's lab. Cool. I'm gonna go out this way. Oh no. Wait, don't go out. Alright, this game is a very different genre of game from the ones that I've been playing thus far. All of the arcade games and all of the, you know, fast, reflex-based, we're going to be doing something, you better be prepared because there's there's action afoot. Very different from Pokemon, which I kind of, I, I love. So we have the two ends of the spectrum here. Right before this was Doom. After this is probably going, I think it's going to be Ultimate Doom. So <laughs> not quite Doom 3, but pretty pretty far on the opposite end of the spectrum from Pokemon, where it's all sitting and thinking, strategizing and planning. There's no reflexes. It's all, how am I going to beat this challenge? So that's going to be very, very different in terms of gameplay and in terms of my ability to talk over them because I can talk over this they're just talking about hey give him a Pokemon too like you're why are you giving me a Pokemon give him a Pokemon I, you know whatever it's the story this is a very old story Bulbasaur not not Bulbasaur no not Bulbasaur okay so obviously Bulbasaur Charmander and Squirtle or Squirtle I 
and have a very controversial opinion, which is that I hate water types. <laughs> and basically every single game, I will refuse to pick the water type, even though it's going to be harder. In this game, specifically, because this is blue version, because... I got the Charmander, alright. Because this is blue version, it seems like maybe I should be picking... No, I don't. Uh, yes, yes, we just talked about this. I am, in fact, going to nickname my Charmander. My sister's nickname. When I was a baby. Which is Lola. Why? Because that's... Because I was a child, and that's what children do. Is they just say, here's a syllable, I'm going to repeat it, and that's going to be your name now. So she was Lala. So she's Charmander. Uh, I was... When I received the game, when she gave it to me when I was older, I was a Charizard, so she's going to start off as a Charizard. That's one reason. I don't like water types. That's the second reason. The third reason is, I always, whenever playing these games, I always chose either Charmander or Bulbasaur. So we're going to go with Charmander. And we've got the first rival battle. I don't know why I called him green. I'm actually, I'm like regretting not calling him red. But whatever, just because we're in blue version. And you might be wondering, why am I doing red version? Why am I doing blue version first? I do have both of these games. So fear not, I am going to be starting with Bulbasaur the next time in red version. But I started off with blue version for two reasons. One, it's the game that I actually had. And well, by I actually had, I mean the one that I had first. And two, it's alphabetical, right? Blue and red came out at exactly the same time. Please keep tail whipping. Ooh, that was a critical hit. Okay, I'll take the tail whip. I'm going to go with the tried and true, just I don't care what you do. You're gonna tackle that's gonna do so much damage. Okay, only only six. That's not bad. It's only doubled its power. Also, I got two crits. So look at that. We won the first battle. Excellent. That's pretty easy. What? Unbelievable. I picked the wrong Pokemon. You absolutely did not pick the wrong Pokemon. You have a better chance than I do, generally. But it's going to be a bit of a problem to get to get past Brock. Immediately, just like, Brock is going to be an issue. Wait, do I? Hold on. Do I need to? I'm supposed to talk to Oak again, right? Raise it by making it fight. Great, thank you. Okay, cool. That's useful. When do I get Oak's parcel? I think I have to travel to the next city first, right? And look at that, our first wild Pokemon. It's a Rattata. I don't know if this is called Rattata or Rattata. I call it Rattata. I'm just gonna knock it out, because why not? I don't think effort values are a thing in this game. I, if I recall correctly, effort values don't exist until like the third? generation, and it's just like effort points that are kind of similar, but not quite the same thing. Like, they're points that are added to the base stats. Okay, cool. Hello. Pokemon, Mark. It's a convenient shop. And Viridian. Okay, Viridian. Oh! Okay. I did not know that that guy was going to give me a potion, but here he did. Alright, cool. That's a, another wild Pokemon. It's a Pidgey. Now we've seen both of the wild starters here. This is... Am I gonna knock out this Pidgey? Do I want a Pidgey? I don't really want a Rattata or a Pidgey. I used to call Rattata Rattatat because that makes so much more sense to me. Just Rattatat, but there's no T at the end. So I'm going to call it Rattata without the T at the end. Plus there's a double T, which to me in my young English-speaking brain meant that it should be at a sound, like butter, you know? So that's, instead of that one being the emphasized one, like it is with Rattata, that's, it's going to be, god, I'm, I'm hitting something in every single patch of grass here. I don't think I have to knock out every single one either, I'm just going to. I don't need to. It's definitely not faster. Wow, the whole screen shakes when he tail whips. That's just a tail whip. Come on. Also, interesting that Pokemon don't have genders yet. Makes sense, because the daycare doesn't exist. Oh my god, every single patch of grass. 
every single patch of grass. I've, I've seen enough Rattatas. <laughs> Rattatas? I've seen enough Rattatas. Please. Please. That's okay. I get it. Rattata is a pretty good Pokemon, generally speaking, for early game. Well, once you get past Brock, it gets Super Fang, it gets Hyper Fang, it's great. But it's not what I want here. We're just gonna keep on going. Thank you. Well, singular encounter for every single one that I get to. Alright, we go to the Pokemon Center. Hi. Cool. They don't charge any money. Great. Thank you. It is very nice. It is funny how uh, Pokemon has universal healthcare. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't be America. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay if we know this takes place in Japan. I've heard that Japan has pretty decent healthcare, but I also know nothing because I've A, never been to Japan, and B, have never been in a Japanese hospital, which I feel like part A precludes part B. So, you know, A, you came from Palantar, and you know Professor Oak, his order came in, will you take it to him? Yes, please. I am now Parcel Boy. I am Parcel Boy. Please give me my parcel. I... I do have to go through the catching Pokemon tutorial, I'm sure. Okay. Well, I can go this way and I cannot encounter every single thing in existence, so I would prefer not to encounter every single Pokemon in existence again. Why are there just jumps on this road? Something that I've never questioned. Why? Why do those exist? Oh, I didn't get a, in an encounter in the first one. Okay, that's fine. I'm happy to take that. But why are there jumps? Like, who built this road? I get that it's supposed to be like a Valve gameplay-wise, but like thinking about it with like a real-life perspective, why would you make the the trek one way significantly harder than the trek back? I guess there are some places that are kind of like that. Hello, welcome back, Green. What'd you call me for? All right, I have a request for you too. On the desk, there's my mention the Pokedex, the little the little book, little book-looking thing. High tech encyclopedia. Please take these. Yeah, I would love that. Great, because now I can catch Pokemon. Excellent. And I'm not. I'm not going to do like a Nuzlocke or anything. These are going to be fun playthroughs. These are going to be reminiscent playthroughs. You know, maybe if I were significantly further along in my in my list, I might do like Nuzlocke or I might like try something like that. You know, some sort of challenge run. But that's not where I am right now. It's not really want to be necessarily. I wouldn't not want to be there, but you know, we'll have to see if that's conducive to anything. Tell her not to lend one to me. Well, guess what? I'm gonna go get one directly from your sister right now. You're not gonna even have a chance. Oh god. No, I pressed A too many times. Alright, we're back here. God, I love the music. I don't love it as much as, uh, as, as from Generation 3. I, I, I like Generation 3's music a lot. I do think Generation 5 has the best music in the series out of all the games that I've played. It's just, it's so, it's so good. But, in Generation 1 is just so incredibly nostalgic. Palette Town especially just, like, almost gets me, like, bleary-eyed, you know? But it takes a little time to get into the music that, like, really really charges me with nostalgia. Pallet Town, I think everyone gets a little bit bleared out, bleared out because most people are like, yeah, this is where the whole story starts. No, no, no. The ones that get me bleared out are the ones that are just running from this ratata. The ones that get me, <laughs> I'm done fighting them all. I fought every single one of one. The ones that do get me bleared out are the ones that are further along, I guess. Is this a... Oh, my notes. Okay. Yeah. Why are you talking to me if you're trying to memorize notes? First page, Pokemon, series to catch Pokemon, six Pokemon from the carry, blurries, Pokemon are called trainers. Do I, did I turn the page? No. Healthy Pokemon would be hard to catch, so we get it first. Poison burns and other damage are effective. Turn the page. No, thank you. Okay, God. Uh, do you give me anything? Please be sure to read the back, but careful. I know how statuses work. <laughs> thank you. I just don't remember what's in all of these buildings. And I kind of want to explore all these buildings, but I don't really think I should. That's going to take a, a very long time of no progression. Also, I'm pretty sure there's another rival battle over here. I would love to get, I think, the first. Hello? Are you going to stop me? You're not going to stop? Wait, what? 
I go shopping in Peter City, I have to take the black turn on Birdie and Forest. Wait, did I skip the tutorial? Are you gonna make me have my coffee now and I feel great? Sure, you can go through. Are you in a hurry? Yes. Time is money. Go along then. I love that. He's just like, no, yeah, we're fine. Uh, okay. So, I didn't, I delivered the parcel. I have to go back to the Pokemon and get some Pokeballs. What? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a couple of Pokeballs. I'm gonna go catch a Nidoran. And that's going to be the start of it, I think. I'm gonna catch a Nidoran. And that's going to be the first addition to my team. I don't... Uh, I'm going to end up flying Pokemon eventually. I can worry about that later. I think a Fero would probably be what I want. Which, In which case, I can catch a Spearow and I can catch a Nidoran right over here. And I can battle the Rival. I'm gonna catch a Nidoran and a Spearow. Hopefully? Hopefully I can catch those? I know that I can catch... Oh, God. It's, it's Rattata. We're gonna we're gonna look around. <laughs> we're gonna look around for those Pokemon for a little bit. I have plenty, thank you. I want please. Yeah, I need a ramp. Is that female? That's female. Cool. I think one scratch should be five. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Oh my god, Nidoran is tanky. I was not expecting a level three Nidoran to be able to tank that somehow. Damn. She's good. Okay. And we catch it. Yeah? Yeah, caught it. Alright, cool. We need around. That is going to be important. It's tiny. It's so tiny. It's 15 pounds. It's a foot tall and it's 15 pounds. Yeah, need around. The other Pokemon in my party don't need to be named. Keep trying to press B because I've been playing a lot of uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon recently. And B is how you open the menu in that one and not start. I need to press start. I'm gonna try to train Nidoran a little bit, do a little switch training. But also hopefully catch a Spearow? Like maybe? That'd be, that'd be great. Oh my god, look at it! Look at its ears! Look how small its ears are! It's so cute! Okay. Tell it, that's fine. Do a little, just a little, little switch training here. I just, I mean, okay, so what is my plan? My plan is I'm going to attempt to catch a Spearow. I don't want to catch a Pidgey. I prefer Spearow. Why? I don't know. Couldn't really give a good reason. Why do I prefer Spearow? I think I preferred uh, Doduo and Dodrio, but Dodrio can't fly. And I, I just don't like Pidgey. Can I catch a Pidgey here? Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if that's a problem. But yeah, so let's just while I'm here, let's just come up with my whole run through. <laughs> that maybe seems a little excessive, but. It feels fine. I want Nidoran for a while. I think Nidoran's a good Pokemon. I think it's a very good Pokemon. I think Nidoqueen is a very, very strong Pokemon. Nidoking, Nidoqueen, whatever. They're pretty much the same, right? Do they have differences? I don't know. Okay, I keep finding Rattataz, and I don't want Rattataz. Can we stop with the Rattataz? I guess Nidoran, either until Nidoran gets level 5, or I find a Spear, uh, Spearow. I'm gonna stay in here. But I'd love to find a Spearow. Ow. And there's, there's Rival 2 up, like, right next to where I am. I don't want to fight Rival 2 right now. Mama's only level 7. That's not strong enough. Nidoran. He's not leveling up. Okay. Come on. Nidoran. <laughs> you gonna level up? 
at some point. I thought I could catch a Spearow over here. It's just Rattataz. I'm so lucky. Uh-oh. That's Rattataz level four. Uh, I wonder if this will be a problem. Hmm. Interesting. I just hope that this Rattataz doesn't use too many tackles. Oh, it failed. Okay, good. I uh, want... Oh, wow. Whoa. That was a regular hit. That wasn't a critical hit. Wow. Okay. Yep. Good. Good. Alright, this level 4 about is gonna be fine. I'm worried about it. A tackle did 3 HP, so I'm fine. Either end's level 4. Good. I swear to god you can find Spearows over here, right? Am I just wildly misremembering? So far I've found the single Nidoran and all of the Rattataz single-handedly wipe out this entire Rattata population. Oh my god. Why? <laughs> need Ransom before that, though. I don't think I need to switch... This is a problem. I don't think I need to switch train anymore. That scratch. Ooh. 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 Okay. I hope I don't need to switch train anymore. <laughs> Yeah, this is... it's not giving me very many experience points. I don't need to white out right here. I think I could just use Nidoran, even against a level 4 Rattata. Rattata. Just tackle. See how much this does. Into a level 2. Alright, tell it. Sure, Nidoran had... she was pretty bulky. Are we going to do anything here? Is this ever going to happen? Okay. Well, no. We just got this to finish. And is this new dragon going to level up? Nope. Am I going to find a Spearow? Basically, last chance. And no, I found another Rattata. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't think. Oh. Okay, that's a three. And that's not... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I could lose here. Don't knock it out. Oh, it was a crit. Okay, that's a problem. Yeah. Just... Just... She can't take any hits. Shh. Oop. Oop. <laughs> and I... My first loss is to a level 4 rat attack. That's great. That was useful. Uh, okay. Did I lose much money? That's fine. Nidoran didn't even get to level 5. I'm going to conclude that there are no Spearows there because I only saw Rattataz. I did see the one Nidoran. I know that there are Nidoran. Are they all female Nidoran? Not... Is there anything else I could do? Wait, isn't there an item back here? Oh. Yeah, there is a potion. Maybe I should have used that before, but it's fine. Interesting how you have to activate the tree from that side. It seems like there's nothing over here. Well, you know what? Let's... Let's fight the rival. Okay. Hello. I don't have any badges. Correct. I got a little stronger. Not much stronger. I think you have a level 9 Squirtle, right? It's a level 9 Pidgey. Uh oh. Woefully under leveled. Stab. No, same thing. Oh my god. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get absolutely demolished here. Hold on. Alright, this is a problem. I, I did not expect you to have such a high. Ah, stop! Stop with the sand attacks. Sand attacks. Stop with the sand attacks! Please! Please stop! Can we... Can we not? Can we not? With the sand attacks? It has gust! It has a flying attack! It has a flying attack! And it does so much more than any of my attacks do. Stop with the sand attack! Oh my god! I'm gonna run. If I run, I mean switch. Just to get rid of the sand attacks. Oh my god! 
Okay, I'm going to crowd. Is that going to take out Meteran? It's not bad. Oh, okay, switch back. Because if he uses another gust, that's a problem. Stop with the sand attacks! Stop with the sand attacks, please. I can't say anything else because I just keep getting sand attacked into the oblivion. Into oblivion. I really should have leveled up more before. Wow, that was a crit? That's not good. That's not good for me. Really should have leveled up more before this battle. Oh my god. You know, it's fine. Hit, hit a scratch, please. Stop. Stop hitting all of these sand attacks. Stop it. Okay, let's switch him back. Hit with a growl, at least. Are you just going to perpetually use sand attack until I have, like... Is that the plan? Is it just going to use sand attack? Okay, it has gust. That was a crit. I use a potion? Okay. Thank you. Stop with the sand. Okay, I just I just wanna hit a ground. I just I just wanna make it to Squirtle. Oh my god. This is this is crazy. This is obscene. This is absolutely ridiculous. Stop! Stop. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Here ends up with six. Yes, I will switch out to Nidoran. Nidoran's gonna tank. Nidoran just grew two levels. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to... Try to weaken it. Bubble. Uh, it's just a poison type. That's speed of all. It's just a poison type right now. Yeah. See how much this tackle does. Okay. Almost nothing. I need you to. I need you to do really poorly, generally. Like this. Yes. Yes. Okay. Keep growling. Okay, it's minus four. Uh, this is a problem. I might want to switch out. It's minus five. I might want to switch out here. It has bubble, which is not great, but it uses, okay, it's fine, this is fine, we're gonna scratch, it's not gonna do very much, it's gonna use tail whip, that's fine, scratch, I can do this, oh no, that's what I didn't want to see, okay, it's fine, this is okay, this is okay, we're okay right now. Don't need to if it uses oh god. It's randomly choosing bubble. That's a problem. I am in fact going to use another potion. Just cause near end otherwise is where I'm gonna set out. That's good. Nope, don't need to use another potion right now. Just gonna scratch my way through this. Tackle mist. That's really lucky. I don't know why I tackled mist there. There we go. Tackle should do, like, nothing. Tackle did something. It wasn't nothing, but it wasn't a lot. Why is your Pidgey stronger than your... Oh, why is your Pidgey stronger? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I learned Ember. Good. I have Ember for when I go into Brilliant Forest. I just lucked out. No, I used two potions. The Pidgey almost beat me. Which is crazy. I like how he's going away from it right now. Just going through all of the. There's gotta be stuff in here, right? What the heck? Sh sure. Okay. Alright. Well, let's go. And we're gonna go through Viridian Forest. If my meter in, I should heal. I should just heal. And my 
my Charmander. I probably want Beatran to get all the experience. Either way, it's going to be a problem. Because once we get to Brock, we're not going to have a good time. Metal Claw doesn't exist in this generation. There are no Grass Pokemon before Brock. Pikachu's. Pikachu is bad. I don't think Pikachu's what I want right now. I don't know. It's gonna be interesting. If Nido, if Nidoran were a Nidorina, would that help? Are there any Oddish? There aren't, right? There aren't Oddish? Natural maze, it's not much of a maze. It's a little bit of a maze. Alright. Yeah. Uh, it was recently pointed out to me how terrifying this music is supposed to be. I know I'm going wrong. I'm getting this intentionally. It's just all bugs. It's just all bugs. It was recently pointed out to me how terrifying this music is supposed to be. But it's not. Oh, if Nidoran learns Poison Sting, that might be something I could do. This Caterpie is hitting. This Caterpie is taking hits. I could potentially attempt to... Oh my god, really? I could potentially attempt to Poison Sting and get the Poison on... Like, Brock's Pokémon. Pokéball. Cool. I knew there was something up here, I just didn't remember what it was. That's not really worth it. Poison use Nanto. Get it at the Pokemon. It's cool. Thank you. Yeah, because this is like the welcome to status functions. Nope. I know that you can get Pikachu's in here. I also know that it's a really rare encounter, and I do not want to do that. But I think I can battle this guy. No. I think nope. Okay. Anyway, I don't know if I ever finished my sentence. It was recently pointed out to me how terrifying the music is in this place. And that's supposed to be because this is the first, like, dark, scary forest that you're in. I know, I picked Charmander, and now I have a move that's super effective against the entire field, and I'm not even using Charmander. That's not unintentional, but it's not intentional. I'm not trying to not use Charmander. I just want Nidoran to learn Poison Sting so I can have some sort of plan against Brock. But... God, I never, I never finished the sentence. <laughs> never finished the sentence. I keep getting distracted. How terrifying this music is because it's you're a child, you're alone, you're by yourself. You you have these Pokemon that you just met, that you're just starting to get used to, and you're going into your first dark and scary place. Tackle is going to miss. That's great. Poison Sting is going to not do anything against Nidoran. I love that. So we don't have Tackle. There are no bug type attacks there's there's leech life right leech life is the only bug type attack in this game right isn't bug super effective against poison in this generation luckily nidoran can't get poisoned i love that it's really nice it's a really nice facet that was a critical hit and it did one damage i love this nidoran is just tanking all of this but it's tanking so many hits like growling won't even do anything because it's already not doing anything. It's already doing minimum amount of damage. So, Growl isn't even useful. Grew to level 8. Wow, it just skipped all the stuff entirely. Learn Scratch! Okay. Scratch is not what I wanted. Yeah, I'll switch to... Uh, let's see the difference between this and this. If I just go Ember? Boom. Caterpie down. Wow. Yeah, one shot. One shot. Great. Okay. Caterpie can't cut it. You had a Weedle. The Weedle did way more damage. Okay, wait. So... Uh, it, didn't, it didn't learn... Wait. See its moves? There we go. Wait. 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 If I want to see... I can't see, it doesn't, it just, it, 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 it uh, what? What? It doesn't show me what they do. It doesn't show me how effective they are, or like their power, or, oh my god, it shows me their power points. It doesn't show me the damage. 
Okay, why? Can't jam out of here. <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah, that's fine. I want to know what level to get Peter Ant to. Scratch no more? Did something. String shot, sure. That's fine. Eatering can be slower. It's not a problem. Versus tackle. It's gonna deal one damage. Great, it dealt one damage. Okay, so it did like a quarter. Tackle's doing more. Tackle would have been a three shot. Why does it learn scratch and tackle? Did it? Wait, that time it did. Maybe it was just. I think it was a high roll or a low roll. I love that Eatering is only taking one damage against these riddles. Beautiful. Beautiful to me. It's 78. Points. Poison Sting. No Poison Sting. God dang it. Kakuna? Yeah, let's switch to... You, you know what? Two level 9 Pokemon is fine. I hope. Almost neither of them has a normally effective move against Brock. And I'm gonna have problems. I think. Oh my god, that didn't knock out the Kakuna? Yeah, hard meat. It didn't knock out Kakuna? What? That was a critical hit. That was overkill. Level 10. Nice. Man. Weedle. Yeah, I'm gonna switch back. I guess Weedles, I think I should just... Nope. You. I think I should just stay with Nidoran. Is Nidoran... She's not taking any damage. She, I mean, she's taking a lot of damage. She's taking a lot of damage at this point. Just don't worry about... Ugh. So Caterpie, anything Caterpie-like, Caterpie line-like is going to be Charmander. Anything poison type that might use poison sting. That was a critical hit. It was really not very much. Man, this is not what I want. Ugh. I really want you to level up and learn poison sting. Okay, that's something. Sure. Okay, fine. The trainer tips contact for so your PC to get your Pokedex evaluated. I was unaware of that. An antidote. Great. Great. I'm pretty sure I go up here. Pretty sure that's the right way to go. I could be wrong. No, I'm right. Okay. I think there's just that one trainer. Right. I also know that there's like a path that you can take in here. I don't know what the path is. You can take a path, and it's guaranteed to not have any encounters, which is funny and kind of annoying. Which is like the sinister theme for everything in Pokemon, everything in art in this generation, right? Viridian Force is supposed to be scary. It's supposed to be creepy. It's supposed to be unnerving. A Weedle, great, and level nine Weedle. Well, my level 9 need a ring, need a ram. I wish that I knew Poison Sting! Because otherwise I'm just going to have to use Tackles and Scratches and Growls on my... This is going to be a pain to deal with Brock. At least I have two Pokemon. Oh, that was a good one. That are both, like, decently leveled for, Bro for Brock. They both know Growl. If they knew Tail Whip, that would be so much better. There's no growl. Well, this means that the opponent is not going to hit very hard, but still. God. No. Uh, okay. Well, we're going into this. I'm pretty sure that's the last mandatory trainer before, or the last trainer at all before Brock. Okay. Hello? You're an old man. I thought you were an alien. Holy crap. Be cut down with special Pokemon rules. Well, guess what I don't have? You're an old man with so many wrinkles on your forehead. Holy crap. Genuinely, I thought that was your hair and you were the alien from Fifth Element. But that's that's fine. That's fine. We're good. This is good. Is, are there spears in here? I got a spear. I'm gonna take a quick detour and attempt to find spears. Nope. That's a Pidgey. That's a level 3 Pidgey. Just knock it out. Shot this Pidgey? Nope. It can't. And Pidgey knows Gust. Pidgey does more damage. A level 3 Pidgey does more damage than a level 9 Weedle. That's 
kind of sad. Am I not able to get Spearows here? I can get Bellsprout, right? Bellsprout might actually be a really good Pokemon. Hmm. I'm just gonna run. I think... Uh, just like, developing my team in my head. I do have a weakness to water right now. It's going to be a problem for Misty. Please heal me. Why is there just a Clefairy right here? Hello? Are you a Clefairy? Are, are you a Clefairy? Wait, what is... What do they each look like? They both look like just monster dude. Cool. Love that. Miran has more health than... It's a Jigglypuff. Are you trying to put me to sleep? What are you trying to do? Yawn, when Jigglypuff sings Pokemon, get your ass Me too. G good night. Good night, my friend. Good night, who are you? Team Rock is an un 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 Scram. You don't seem suspicious at all. If I go into PC, right? That's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't need that. Okay, so I have a level 10 Nidoran and Charmander, and that's what we're going to be fighting Brock with. Great! Excuse me? I... Do I... I need to talk to one of you guys. Might go to sleep, but it's not a sure thing. Yeah, sure. New techniques as they grow, but some of these must be top of the trainer. Great, cool. Alright, so something also to set as kind of like a ground rule for this. My idea is to play every single game until I beat it. Now, what does beat it mean for Pokemon games? Most of the time, beat it would mean like just doing the champion, right? You just beat the champion. But that's, yes, that's beating it. But I do feel like there's more. What are you doing? No! No, I don't know what you're doing. You're spraying repel. Okay, cool. Okay, alright, interesting. These are all tutorials, I should know this. So, beating it. Beating the champion doesn't quite feel like beating it for these games? No, it's not. So, you have to go. Oh, 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 okay, you're bringing me. You're bringing me. Okay, hi. Hello, this is the museum. I have to take it in. It's worth it. See you around. Um, Alright, bye. But because beating it is not... Like, okay, yes, you can beat the champion. And that does feel like beating it. But there's still more in, like, every single one of these games that, you're, that you should do. So, you around sit. That's which what kind of meter in is that? It's an outsider, so it's hard to handle. Cool, you can get things in trades. Guess what? I am not going to trade with anybody in this game that is from Tab. When did it come out? 1996? I should know this, it's in my list. I think this guy's gonna tell me, hey, you're you're looking for Brock. Follow me. Okay, he's you gotta be brought over by this guy. The thing that I'm trying to get to is in this game, I will stop, not when I beat the champion, but when I catch or beat Mewtwo. Because that seems like the correct time to finish this. Same thing in Fire Red and Leaf Green. Are you... Uh, you're just walking in the bushes? You just walked into the bushes and disappeared. I love that. That's so good. Where the Clip Fairies came from the moon? Appeared after Moonstone fell on Mount Moon. Oh my god. But yeah, this is going to go to Mewtwo. Uh, Gen 2 is going to go to Red, obviously. There's such a big post game in Gen 2. You only are like level 30 by the or level 40 by the time you finish beat the champion. It doesn't make sense. What is this going to say? I can tell you. Uh, okay, thank you. I'm not trying to, but I can tell you how to win. I'll take you to the top, sure. This Pokemon out and matches at the top of the Pokemon list. Yep, I knew that. When you order a Pokemon, matches can be made easier. Great. New City Pokemon Gen, Peter, Brock, Hunting Treasures, Green. Green is was already here. Of course, I think there's only this one trainer. Stop right there. Hello. Uh, still light news from facing Brock. You're literally the only guy that's fighting. They don't have any ground moves, right? Do you have a ground move? You've got a Diglett. It's a Diglett. It's not a Sandshrew. Sandshrew doesn't have a qualifying speed. 
Let's scratch. Ouch. Uh, tackle. I want these experience points. I want these experience points. I guess I maybe you just have to hope for a burn with Charmander. That's probably going to be the best way for me to do anything in this gem. That's gonna be a problem. That's gonna be a big problem. Wow. Can you just gotta keep tackling it? There we go. Woo! Yeah, new ground. Poison Sting. Dang it. It's not true. Yeah, I'll switch. Two low low weapons. Hopefully. Hopefully this will bring them all up to level 11. Remember. Yeah, so Gen 2, it's going to be when I beat Red. Gen 3, it's going to be... Well, it depends upon which game in Gen 3. In Ruby and Sapphire, it'll be when I beat the... Well, Ruby. I don't... I never had Sapphire. Ruby, it'll be when I beat the champion, and Emerald, it'll be when I beat Steven. There we go. No burnt. That was crit. Level 11. Good. You know, it measures distance. Yes, it does. Light years do, in fact, measure distance. It's the amount of space that light travels in one year. It's wonderfully unified concept across all of space-time. But, what are we going to do? And the rest of them, we'll see. I remember Black and White having a pretty good post-game. I remember Black 2 White 2 having a bigger post-game. I think Black and White just until I beat Cynthia. Right? Gen 4? I don't remember the post-game for Gen 4 at all. It's just completely blank. It's just like Cynthia. And that's it. Uh, I might have to go look through. But yeah, there are other things to do. Point being, Champion is not going to be the end of all of these. It's going to be close. It's going to be the last, one of the last required trainers. But I'm going to save. What am I saving? I'm not entirely sure. I've already been playing for 45 minutes. That this does not feel like I've been playing for 45 minutes. But that maybe is a good place to end the episode here. Yeah, I, I think that's a pretty good place to end the episode here. I set a couple of ground rules. This is just a fun playthrough where it is the playthrough's gonna end. I'm just gonna catch Pokemon as I see fit. I'm not gonna worry about filling up the Pokedex or anything. I'm just gonna be like, hey, this is one that I want, and I'm gonna go get it. So I think that'll be it for this one. Um, and But I'll be taking this off of the shelf again in a little bit, but for right now, I'm gonna get Pokemon Blue version right back up on that shelf.